Hello, everybody. I'm Amy Hill, and I'll be um, moderating, which means I'll just be feeding questions and hearing what they have to say. And I'd like them to uh, give a short introdu introduction of who they are and um, how they're uh, connected to the project. Go ahead, sir. Shana Landsberg. I was one of the casting directors. Yay. I'm Patrick Baca, the co-casting director. Um, I'm David Out. I'm writer director. Can, can everybody give a hand to Amy too? Uh, thank Yay, you for Amy Hill. moderating this panel. Yay. I just showed up. <laughs> I, you know, I saw it this uh, summer at the Los Angeles Film Festival, and it was just so wonderful. I really, really enjoyed it. So I was eager to come and ask these questions myself so I can find out more about the film. And, and uh, I'd like to know, I think probably from David, how, what sort of was the genesis of this project and how long it took to come to fruition and that kind of thing. Um, sure, I'll do a short one. Um, I did a short film about 10 years ago called Fresh Like Strawberries and have the same um, actors and sort of a similar story. It was like a kind of rain cutting scene. And then since then I've been developing for the feature. So it took a while, but it was kind of on and off writing, but it, um, it, it sort of, I was able to have the same, same actors who come, Sharon, Teddy, and Ken to come back to um, be in the film again. and. We actually kind of, throughout the years, we developed it together. We did a lot of workshop, and Sharon was in, and Ken, were, they were in a, you know, a lot of readings, and we revised and revised, and finally come to a point that we feel like we want to bring it to a film, and um, we try to get money, and then here we are. <laughs> oh, it sounds so easy. <laughs> I don't think it was that easy. So um, I, I, uh, I think I heard that there was a trailer, and that was called Eat With Me as well, or is that Fresh yeah. Strawberries? Yeah, no, there was Eat With Me. That was about two years ago. Uh -huh. um, my producer, Joyce Lou Countryman, she, um, she's like my partner in crime in this. Um, and we sort of decided it would be nice to have sort of people to see you know, our vision of the film so that they can kind of be interested in it a little bit. Um, and we, you know, so we decided to cut, to, to shoot a trailer, um, just sort of taking scenes out of the film, and we just shot that, and then we have, you know, I saw Amy here, and <laughs> Amy was playing um, Maureen, and she was amazing in the trailer. Um, and, um, and then a couple other people. So we, we did the trailer, and then that's when we started doing the Kickstarter campaign. And that's, um, that's what we show people, and we, people can see what the story is about and what we're really in for. And, um, and then we made it. That was really uh, fortunate of us. It was the most scary thing of our life. You just go from that to, and then we made it. <laughs> um, There's a lot more involved, I'm yeah. sure. So when you did the trailer, were you anticipating the Kickstarter? Was the trailer yeah, for so the Kickstarter? The, the trailer was for the Kickstarter. Uh -huh. So we, we wanted to have the trailer so people can see a little bit more than just, you know, me and the producer talking. Mm -hmm. So we decided that, you know, that would be kind of a nice way to, because it actually did see, like, the progression of the story and right. what it's really going for. And then I think people like that. I think people enjoy seeing that and then wanting to see more. Did the script sort of remain the same? You said you took scenes out of the... Um, script. Yeah, I mean that was trailer. two years before we shot the oh, actual okay. film. So then it's so definitely we changed like here and there a little mm -hmm, bit. Um, mm -hmm. But some of the some of the moments are still in there. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah. So how, uh, how when did you get uh, involved with the casting process? Um, the casting process. So we did you know we did a short film. So I have a few actors right. who, you know, I was you know really want them to be part mm -hmm. of it again. So. But we have all these other actors that we really want to bring in um, other actors in. Mm -hmm. And so my other producer, Michelle Elin, who's here as well, um, she you know, suggested Patrick um, you know, to work on the film. And then you know, we met, and then we talked a lot of film. We ate a lot yeah, we did. that day. <laughs> well, how did, you, how did you know Patrick and Shana? So I met through my producer, Michelle. So she uh, worked with Patrick on another film, I think, right. Eating Out. Oh, uh, yeah. 
two. Eating. A lot of eating. Yeah, lot of <laughs> Patrick's connected to the kind, eating movie. It's a different kind of eating. Yeah. <laughs> Is there eating involved? Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's when, that's when we met and then Michelle introduced us and, um, and then that's... We went to the Formosa Cafe. We went to Formosa Cafe. Yeah. We had a few... And that's where we bonded. A lot of drinks <laughs> and food. Yeah. So um, when you're casting uh, low budget and particularly you were also looking forward to the uh, Kickstarter campaign. This is, bef you came on before that campaign started? Uh, we came on, uh, right, just as, the, just as they were starting uh, the Kickstarter. Um, kind of at was, the same time. Right. Yeah. It was, I mean, they, I think the, it was, the short it was yeah. already done. Yeah. And yeah. so we were able to sort of look at the short and sort of assess, you know, the, you know, the script and then, you know, the, it had elements already, uh, you know, attached to it. It was, um, you know, Sharon and Ken and Teddy were already there. And I love that David remained, you know, loyal to those uh, performers. And then we just sort of built, you know, built around them. Now, were you um, thinking also of the business side of possibly looking to find names? To yeah, attach? that was one of the things that, you know, David really needed and wanted and we focused on the Nicole Sullivan role um, was the, the biggest role that we could put you know you have to look at a script and you say where's the best place to put a name since right. there were already cast members cast so that was the best place to put a name and we sat down together Patrick and I and we worked on a list and came up with a bunch of names and Nicole was on that list and we gave that list to, to David and we talked about it and and then we sort of just, just revised it. Just revised a little bit, checked the and yeah. who would be realistic and who would do work for $100 a day. <laughs> right. um, and we got really lucky, and Nicole said yes. You know, pretty cool. I think she was maybe the first person or she second wasn't, person. No, no, she, well, I think, yeah. Yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty close. We made a close. couple we, of offers to, to someone, uh, to a New York actress who wasn't, I think, available. Um, yeah, there were but, actually a lot of New York actresses that were on that list. On the list, but I think <clears> Nicole was... This, right. maybe the second person we went to. We got yeah. very lucky. Yeah, we did. Did you have a relationship with her? You know, I'm obviously from... The, Not with um, her directly, casting. but with her, with her... I mean, I know Jonathan Howard very oh, well, and, right. mm -hmm. and, and Patrick knows him, so, you know, we have... Str and, and, you know, they support small films, and she's just great. She was just really great. I, I just know Nicole from... That was the first time I ever got to work with her on a, on a feature, but... I, I have a little strange addiction, and that's that I have to watch like episodes of King of Queens like every day, <laughs> old old reruns, uh, and um, and so she you know so I adore her from that. So she sort of was one of the people that we sort of came up with. So when she said yes, and I was, was I was a big fan of her from Mad TV. So like yeah. as soon as they brought up her name, it was just it was like instantly clicked. Yeah. It was like that. Definitely is the person for it. And, and I cast her in a really bad TV movie once <laughs> that I'm sure she would never like to mention. So you were trying to make up for it yes. with this yes. film. Yes. Um, now, do you think uh, her being attached helped the project? In I would think so, yeah. Yeah, we, we basically announced it. We have four weeks of Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. we, are now, we actually got her right in the middle of Kickstarter. Oh. So um, she said yes, maybe in week two. And mm -hmm. so we announced it at week three. And then we actually got a lot more buzz since then. Mm -hmm. and we, you know, we used that to sort of approach different people from you know, Matt TV fans mm -hmm. and all these people who were fans of hers. Oh, and they really kind of helped yeah, us to sort of promote pushed, it pushed out. Up. Pushed it along, and then it helped us when we, when we started helped, doing the other cast. Yeah, it helped when getting the other cast, and I think it helped get George right. to guy. Yeah, you that's know. true. Yeah, how'd that well. happen? How did George come on board? Um, so, so George came on board when Joyce, um, she's watching the streaming right now. So, um, so she, um, she was in a she was in a opening of a play at East West Players, and he was in. The, he was watching the play as well, and they I think they were like two seats away from each other. And uh, I think at the time, we were already th thinking about having him to be in the film. We wrote him in it, literally George Takei is in the film. Um, and then, so Joyce, you know, you know, being her, she just went up you to him. You wrote George was in the film before you had George in the film? 
I was just you know, just see that visionary. Is, is, visionary. <laughs> that's manifestation yeah. of <laughs> your dream. Just like thinking yeah. about it. And... Is that the secret? <laughs> it, it kind of like. It is. The did secret. we have a backup yeah. plan in case? Did we talk about a backup plan in case George? I think we, did. we didn't have a backup plan. <laughs> to try to find somebody. <laughs> yeah, point. we would have just substituted. Just shoot George from the back <laughs> and have yeah. like a sound alike. Yeah. <laughs> just like a face mask. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that and then yeah, and then they, you know, we asked Joyce immediately asked him then at the play like we wrote a part for you. Would you like to be in it? And then, um, and you know he didn't say yes right away. And so we went through maybe like two years after that. Um, a lot of back and forth emails with his manager slash husband Brad, and we, you know, we finally come to a point that, you know, we have money and you know, and we could be able to hire him, and so let's do this. And but we didn't have a yes. lot of money. We didn't have oh, a lot okay, of money, sorry. but we also. <laughs> and then we had to go and. We went. We also. Were, the next step was to go to the agents and sell them on it and get them to to nudge the husband and I know and, these and two worked so up. hard on it. That was yeah. really, I, I remember that day, it was um, Shana and I at a table having to call and then actually make the deal. You know, the interest was there, but then we had to actually and they go kept, through, you know, you know, all the terms and that was a tough, that was, <laughs> that was touch and go for a little while. Yeah, it was Michael McConnell. <laughs> no, he's watching this. He's he lovely, say that. I love Michael. <laughs> Can you tell that story? Michael Greenwald. The story? Of what happened? Not Michael uh, McConnell, Michael well, Greenwald. It was, um, I mean, it was just a lot of just back and forth, and there was just a lot of um, tears and um, <laughs> flirting and. Uh, Making the deal? Know. Yeah, remember we, we we put it on speakerphone and you were doing oh, most yeah, of it. Was just, now it's just yeah, like Michael, a you know, Michael was doing his agent stuff, which he's supposed to do and protect his client. And, you know, we'd go back and forth, and he asked for things, and we say, "Come on, it's ultra low budget, and this is what we can do." And and it's I think that's a little finessing, and you know, a was, lot of emotion. Michael in the end was really great and actually yeah. got me a signed autograph picture. Did he really? <laughs> For my ex husband, actually, yeah. a Star Trek. <laughs> I was, oh wow, I but love that. yeah, but finally, it did it, it came together, yeah. which was which was terrific. And I think that's where relationships with you know, with your yeah. casting directors mm -hmm. really affect what, what you know, what can and what does wind up on the screen. Well, you know, and also, because it is so low budget, it must be very difficult to find, well, I don't know, is it difficult to find actors to work in ultra low budget films? Because there's so many of them now, it seems well, like. Well, I just did one this last summer uh -huh. that shot in New York. Um, I don't know if you know Lee Wilkoff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lee Wilkoff uh, directed it, and he had Nathan Lane attached because Nathan was his friend, but that was it. And um, the lead character, um, I got them Gabriel Byrne, and he got $933 a week. <laughs> because it was a really great script, and he really loved it. And mm -hmm. then we got, um, Fra uh, what's his name? What's it, Francis Conroy? Yeah, wow. Francis Conroy. Um, and, uh, you know, because it was really good, and Donna Murphy was chomping at the bit to play mm -hmm. this role, and she did a role, and everybody, you know, for a hundred dollars a day or whatever it was. Um, so when the script is really good, and there's a good director, and you know, and the timing, the timing, the timing it good. just happened. You know, and literally they had to push to make it work for Gabriel's schedule, and he's wonderful in it, and they just locked picture. And you I know, sometimes it goes that way, and then other days you're just <laughs> like I don't know. Yeah. Well, well, I think we, we had timing on yeah. our side because we were right. just right after pilot season, right? Mm -hmm. right? Didn't we shoot yeah. like in April? We, sh we shot in June, oh, right. so we have right, to right. cast people like by May. Right, right, right. right. So we started good, right after... Pilot their, season was over. Right, exactly. Right. That's when people are sort of open right. and receptive to... Right. They want to do their feature. You know, people right. from television, you know, want to move over. Mm. And then, like, Scott, who... Hey, Scott. I f we found Scott, his mom worked with a friend of mine at LAUSD. Oh, yeah. And right. said, you know, if you have anything, and he, he happens to be Asian. <laughs> she came his, I said, I actually am working on something. I, I might have something for you. Right. You handed me his picture. Like, <laughs> We've got to make sure we bring him Like in. on Tuesday by Friday, I think we cast him. So that was. And, and, and Aiden, too. I think he's here, right? Yeah, that's right. Aiden here? Yes. Where are you? Aiden? Aiden? 
Oh, there he is. There he is. Scott and Aiden, stand up for people. We got to yeah, get start. the people that are involved in this to stand Absolutely up. So no. Sharon is here. Sharon is also here. I'm sorry. Sharon Omi's here. Sharon Omi is right there. Sharon. Please stand up. And her lovely There's daughter, Amy. Rosie. And Amy. And Sally Amy's Shaw here. Is back. Yeah, because, you know, you guys are going to want to chat with them after. <laughs> um, so you're, you don't say yes to something just because you're friends with... Uh, this person, right? I mean, because, oh, no, no. you know, this is a hard job to be casting. Well, yeah, it's no, much we, easier when you have a ton of money yeah. to work with. We don't just say yes. No, we bring them in, and they have to yeah. really be right for the part. I mean, we can no. say yes to bring them in, but they have to come in and you No, know, I mean get the saying part. yes to the job of casting. Oh, to, you didn't oh, know to cast? David. Yeah, did oh. you know David? I no, but we, we, but you we like met, the script? and we like the story. We like mm -hmm. the script a yeah. lot, absolutely. Yeah. He and we like the That's it. He and he fed his dumplings. <laughs> <laughs> and this is this is my first time working with a casting director. Right? So that How was, was that? It's you know completely changed my view of uh -huh. you know like. So. I, <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> um, no, it's what did just, you I think mean, of casting I, directors before? <laughs> as a pro, you know, as a producer of like an independent film, we usually do it ourselves, and it's right. it's a lot of work, and like you know to direct and produce and all these things, and then we don't necessarily usually you know find the right people very quickly so it takes us a very long time to even you know get the casting going and everything but with like Patrick and Shana we just you know they bring in people that they have worked with before and they you know they always see plays and mm -hmm. theaters that we you know we don't even really have time to go yeah they know actors so they really so know we, them that's very our, well that's our job <laughs> <laughs> well know you actors. know I tell you I, as an actor sometimes you don't know if they are doing their job Casting that, directors? Yeah, sometimes I've I think the, gone I think, I think we really are. We well, do. Well, you guys are great. <laughs> Other people don't, but we do. <laughs> That's I mean, right. Some, yeah, there's always, I think in every field, there's going to be people that right. try to But I think the vast majority the job. of mm -hmm. ca you know, of casting directors, I, I think all of them are story driven and they're all actor driven mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I mean, I just love actors. So yeah, I you love to be a casting director, well, you have huge. to love actors and yeah. love um, finding new talent. I mean, I've been doing this for 30 years and I still love, you know, that I found Scott and I just put Scott in another movie. Uh, another one, wow. Recently. Oh, cool. you know. Scott. Scott. Good for you. <laughs> well, his Stand mother was at a party at my oh, house. Oh, that's right. <laughs> this, no, this was for the second one. <laughs> is this? <laughs> second one, she you was hear at my that? house. Send is your it? mothers and fathers out. <laughs> his mother should with be a getting resume a commission. And a picture with them. <laughs> Go to parties. <laughs> go to parties. But then they still have to, you know. And if look, do their if Scott job. wasn't yeah. good, he wouldn't I have know. gotten the job. That's right. Now, um, you also had some interesting uh, chemistry that you had to work with because there were a gay. There was a very gay presence. So in the very film. gay. <laughs> yes, very very gay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did. Ha well, we had to match. Um, well, you know, the, the nice thing about having the actors. Uh, that we already had, um, you know, Teddy, is that it's casting is like putting together the pieces of a puzzle. Right. And you have to put, you know, to do a puzzle, you have to lay one down. So um, it was nice to have Teddy because we could match to him. And um, mm -hmm. I we think really we, laid it on him, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> we kind of did. Um, but I, I mean, we went through the process of, of seeing actors, you know, that, um, you know, for the role. And, um, and then we did a callback. And then I think the last stage was, actually having them come back and read opposite uh, Teddy. And then did we this improv? for Ian's role. Right, for Ian's role. And we think brought back four actors, and then we have. Did we, we what did, did we make them do? We did do <laughs> scenes, and we made them kiss and have right. a little bit of an intimate moment. Right. So, so we can see the chemistry is there, and whether they're and see if they were comfortable with it, with it yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we told them. I think we have a. <laughs> <laughs> we just wanted to watch. <laughs> Because you love actors. <laughs> I love actors. Shana, that was really why. I'm supposed to say that. <laughs> they didn't take their clothes off. Because they were really cute. On. No. So, um, and how I've been is this single a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have them take their no. shirts off? Because there was Did a lot of shirt shirts taken off. off. No. Shirts no, were coming off no. constantly in the yeah. movie, no. it felt like. Yeah, you got to no. be careful no. in the casting process. <laughs> There's only so much you can have them do. <laughs> Could you take your show? No, out? it was oh. it was pretty easy. I think I, I yeah. you know that was um, everybody was game, and I think the people who weren't game didn't come for the callback. Oh right, yeah, That's people right. will if, if 
Oh, if they get a, too uncomfortable, they won't come in for that. Yeah, They'll there was, a, no. but there was an actor that um, that we had read early on that I really liked a lot, and then we did a. Um, oh, I think this was for the. Well, I think you know if we really liked them, there were two roles, and we, so we knew that we could either slot them into, um, you know, the, the first guy you saw, um, right? Um, or you know, so we had two to to slot them into. But there was this one actor who came in. He was such a good actor, and then he charmed us by, um, we would ask like, do you sing or do you play an instrument? And then this guy brought a guitar and he started playing his guitar. And, um, and I was just like, wow, this guy's really good. And he's really talented. And then when we went to call him back for the, um, for the final you know, test opposite Teddy, he passed. And I called up his agent and I said, well, you know, what's, what's the matter? And, and she said, oh, he ultimately didn't feel comfortable with it. And I, and, and I thought, well, you know, that's okay, mm -hmm. um, but don't come in and charm us with your guitar <laughs> and, then, and then, you know, not come back. And, uh, yeah. you know, that was that's tough. kind of, do you remember when that happened? Yeah. Yeah. That was disappointing. But you know what? <laughs> it was. And, 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 and we had choice words with, you know, with the agent, but, you know, in the <laughs> end, you know, you... But you know, actors do do that. They will come in and then pass and you're like well why did you come in in the first place you know so that is one thing i will say don't come in if you're gonna ultimately pass just make that decision before you come in mm. but you know what ultimately i i think that when an actor passes he's just telling you he's not the right person right and we're there to find the right person right. so when that happens i don't get you know i don't i try not to get bent out of shape yeah it's it. it's it's fine to pass i mean i'm just setting up a session for this ultra low budget movie because I do a lot of them and uh, and uh, you know i am got five people pass today um, and I'd rather them pass than come in and get my director excited and then have them pass which mm. has happened and right. nobody likes that experience mm -hmm. but um, it happens and, and I don't take it personally if people pass they don't want to work for hundred dollars a day or they don't want to they don't think they're right for the part or they just don't connect with it, it's fine. It's well, you guys did a great job creating a, a really great group of people who worked so well together. I mean, I think you see that on screen. And of course, you're a part of that as well. <laughs> creating an atmosphere where they all worked so well together. Yeah, I thought it was, yeah. I thought they blended really, really well mm -hmm. together. Yeah, you know, and, and, and the writing is really good. It's mm -hmm. really heartfelt. And I think it was pretty easy for everyone to just um, how's it relate to each other? How's it been doing on the festival circuit? It's been doing well. I think we we started we premiered LA Film Festival. That was uh -huh. that was really sort of fun for us to sort of mm -hmm. start the festival circuit, and then we have been kind of traveling the country and the world a little bit here and there. And you know, it's been fun. Um, it's been fun showing it. You know, I've been going to different cities, mm -hmm. also visiting and seeing. Where have you gone? What's that? Where have you gone? I've been to uh, Chicago, uh, Atlanta, Tampa, Fort Lauderdale, Woodstock, um, San Diego, San Francisco. And, you know, we packed the house into the Castro Theater. That was amazing. Um, it's really nice to kind of have that audience yeah. at 4 p.m. And on a Thursday. Oh, so that's that was, great. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's been fun. It's been amazing. And um, have you gotten a distribution deal? Yes. Yay! Uh, That's great. <laughs> um, yeah, thanks. We're very lucky we got a deal when we are premiered at LA Film Festival. Oh. And it was wow. so Wolf Video, you saw the logo in the beginning, that they were going to take on the film. And we'll be releasing it in May, I think. Great. Um, yeah, and then we'll be doing some small screenings throughout the country, a little bit with Gather. So, That's look good. out for it. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Great Tell jobs. your friends. Um, we have a Facebook page called Eat With Me Movie. I think, yeah. Um, and so, you can go there and check it out. Great. Well, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Amy. Thank you. Well, thank, thank you, you. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank we you. love you guys for doing so much. this kind of work, really. Thank you. Thank you. I want some pot stickers. <laughs> yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs>